Hello and welcome to Go 365's English News Bulletin. I am Susan Gomes and these are the headlines. Heavy rains flooding disrupted Konkan railway services between Karmali and Thivam stations. This time, out of 99.40% students cleared the Goa Board HSSC exam 10.13% more than last year. Heavy to very heavy, extremely heavy rainfall accompanied by gusty winds will continue at many places from 19 to the 23rd of July, Met Department's forecast says. And now for the news in detail. This time 99.40% of the students cleared the Goa Board HSSC exams 2021 declared today. Last year the pass percentage was 89.27% with this year 10.13% more than last year. Board Chairman Bhagirat Shetty announced this information. Out of 18,195 students, 18,085 passed the exams. Of this, 9,163 were girls and 8,922 were boys. In the science, 4,683 pass percentage 99.68%, arts 4,716 pass percentage 99.39%, commas 5,574 pass percentage 99.66% passed. 18,195 students appeared through the regular category passed 18,085, giving you the pass percentage of 99.40. 2016, it was 90%. 2017, it was 90%, uh, 88%. 2018, it was 85.84%. 19, it was 89.59. And 20, it is 89.27%. Girls, appeared more in numbers 9187 boys 9008 and the number of the girls passing are 9163 boys number is 8922 and girls pass percentage is higher by point six uh, six nine it is so 99.74 is the pass percentage of girls as compared to boys it is 99.05 less than 33 that means those who are who got the remark as needs improvement that means they have to answer the board examination so they are 75 35 candidates result is placed in reserve category for the reason non production of non submission of eligibility documents because they were coming from the different boards or they have not submitted internal practical marks. So it is 75 plus it is 35, that is 35's result is yet to come. So that is why they are placed in reserve category. 75 are with needs improvement. The students with 33 to 45 range are 860. Those with 46 to 59 are 5583. 60 to 80, they are 9682 and 81 to 100 are 1960. This year due to the pandemic students were evaluated without physical final exams. The board evaluated the students based on previously decided criteria. Board Chairman Bhagira Shetia said those not satisfied with results will be given an option to answer exam physically at a later date but they will have to forfeit the result obtained through the present evolution criteria. However, there is no provision for verification of mark this time, Shetia said. Sham Chari for 365 from Paniji. The incessantly heavy rains have disrupted railway services along the Konkan railway route. Railway officials said that due to the continuous heavy rain, an ingress of water or slush in Old Goa tunnel and the collapse of a concrete wall, traffic between Karmali and Thivam station railway traffic has been interrupted. The incessantly heavy rains have disrupted railway service along the Kokan railway route. Railway officials said that due to continuous heavy rain and ingress of water or slush in Old Goa Tunnel and collapse of concrete wall, traffic between Karmul and Thivim station railways has been interrupted. 
All special trains and weekly trains going from Margao to Mumbai have come to a grinding halt. This also hit the railway timetable. The passengers had to wait for the trains to reach their destinations. Some have to return back home as trains were cancelled. Some were transshipped to Thivim railway station through KTC buses. However, Konkan Railway Deputy General Manager said trains are being regulated at various stations. Transshipment, diversion and rescheduling of trains is being planned. He shared details. Like trains going to uh, Kerala, like uh, 02618 Nizamuddin Ernakulam and 04698 Amrutsar Kochiveli, which are bound to Kerala, have been diverted from Panvel via Pune, Hubli, Erode, Sonor, and then on proper route. Likewise, trains coming from Kerala and going towards North, like 01224 Ernakulam NTT, Duranto Express, 09261 Kochiveli Porbandar Express. 02977 Ernakulam Ajmer Express will be diverted via Madgao, Londa, Pune, Panvel, and then on their proper route. Uh, Kokan Kanya leaving Madgao at 1645 has been cancelled, and tomorrow's uh, Mandavi Express leaving Mumbai at 7 hours has been cancelled. Then we are doing some transshipment of uh, passengers. Like uh, today's uh, the Kokan Kanya which has left CSTM, uh, it will be uh, halted at TV. And those passengers uh, will be brought back by uh, brought to Madga by bus. And today's Mandavi, which was supposed to leave at uh, 8:30 in the morning, has been uh, has not left Madga. So passengers of this train will be taken by bus to TV, and this Kokan Kanna train will return back as Mandavi Express. Uh, Trivandrum uh, Nizamuddin Trivandrum Rajdhani, which will be stop, uh, which has been stopped at Pernam. The passengers of that train will be brought uh, to Madga by bus and uh, there was one Rajdhani supposed to leave Madga, Goa Rajdhani, Madga, Madga Nizamuddin. Uh, so that uh, that train will uh, work as uh, Trivandrum Rajdhani from Madga and uh, the Trivandrum, uh, Nizamuddin Trivandrum Rajdhani will work as Goa, ex, uh, Goa Rajdhani, ex Patna. So passengers from uh, of Goa Rajdhani will be taken by bus from Madga to Patna. Besides this, there will be some uh, some more parcel cancel cancellations will, which I will be advising later. When will be this work restored? So we are expecting to get it restored by today evening. Goa 365 visited the site at Old Goa Railway Tunnel where incident actual happened. The concrete slab inside the tunnel has collapsed. Water mixed with mud is pouring out from the hole. Officials have started the work. I am a railway tracker, Old Goa Railway Tracker. I am a fatal day. I am a fatal day. I am a fatal day. Even at the Yopachi Ashili, the Goa Express, Magit Yangachan Waspachi train Ashili, the Sagi stops Ali. Mati Itli Kosara, Dala Vitarbaji, a person in a pun, bitter Kamka, Salukela, railway Adikarani, Ela Bitter, and Mati Karpaji Salukela, pun Jo Wilanchan Jo flow poeta to me. Get to me Potumka distillate to the Jo Wilanchan Matito Jo flow as a continuous flow as a yeah, the Kitlo time lactolo Jay Adikaran to the Kabana. Kitri this stuff and off recorder Kitri Sanglaki, I mean maintenance, Saki, worse and worse Kartamun, but Kitri this stuff, Kitri crack for that, Injan Uda Gata, Wilan Uda Pata, Zaler maintenance Kunsalota. Railway Adikarani note Karpada, eight tunnel as a Zala Lokanto, it took Ketlo, Ola, Abga Zau Sakato. Luckily, information me, Munun, Railway, Usuna, Nazare, Kedo, Ola, Abga Zau Sakalo. Sandeep Toyekar for Goa 365 from Marga and Amar Chavriya from Old Goa. We shall slip into a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back. Kungkulam locals up in arms over what they say is hill cutting work in Pajorkoni area of Kakumudi, Kungkulam. Locals filed a complaint with Kunkola Municipal Council and the council sent an engineer to inspect the site. Watch the details. The council has issued a show cause notice to person undertaking hill cutting and stop the work calling it illegal. The chairperson said the hill cutting in Kunkolim is going on for last four days. 
local side filed a complaint with CMC calling it the work was illegal and there are no necessary permissions. Local MLA Klafasov has said he has supported the locals. Complainant Dr. Jason Fernandez gave details. There are some people from the Sociedad, the Agricola, the Gankari, the Kumpulim, Veroda, they have on the cadastral plan that plot is being shown under Sociedad. So there must be probably a ownership dispute also around of that particular property. We do not know. This is just an assumption. In the form 1, form 14 is not an ownership document. That's number one. Number two, the plot, it's a water aquifer. That water is what we need for life. So if you start cutting them, then there will not be water available. Two, once habitation starts, the water aquifer is going to get polluted with all the septic tanks. That's another second question. Third one is, it is close by. Don't say meter for this. It's Kuni Arikasa. That joins directly our river Sal, which goes into the Arabian Sea. So when that river is so close by, the water body is so close by, Water Resource Department also should have taken cognizance when they are giving licenses. I'm so J. Munta Apramata condition Gatiliasa. Gatiliasa Bariasa, but have they brought an NOC from the Water Resource Department because if there's a water body, then you should refer it to the Biodiversity Board to make the necessary proper studies and then only give the licenses. That also is not there. Four, it is the National Highway. On the western side of the National Highway is this particular development that is happening. At the war National Highway, the Apriasa Amso. Tatutlan, 40 meters to 50 meters from the center of the road is being acquired for the expansion of the highway because it is still not decided which side the highway will go. But it will divert only after the southern side of the Iskuniyari. Okay. So, what do you do? You have to say that you have to say that you have to say that you have to Can you do such type of work into the property of the government which government has already acquired? Another question that comes up. Four, if, if you look into the gradient that is there, the point of the issue is that you have to say that you have to say that you have to say that you what they have suddenly done is, they have started the hill cutting now. Yes, they have a and this is and they have started the hill cutting. So, they have started the hill cutting, they have started the chalk marking, they have started the shrubs, they have started the hill cutting, and suddenly they started now doing the work, but they are doing it only on Saturday, Sunday. That is what provokes the people of Kunkolim, and that's why all people of Kunkolim have come together to fight against this particular project, whoever it is. Don't try to cheat us. Go by the law. If you don't go by the law, we'll make you and force you to go by the law, otherwise the work is going to stop. Oh, hill cutting motto, oh, for a char pass Mingal, that's the point. On a day, action is on. I before Athan Covid Talwa, the land, Macha, Star the land, so Tadon, I before that, I Kone, my complaint, I am police, I complain, Kodan Police, Apoile, I mean, the hill cutting, that's my complaint, can the police, I mean, police, they won't think that they won't have a lot of I want my corn hill cutting for the garden market, you want an inspection, you know, of Sapoile, and then the day. CMC chairperson Lakshman Naik said they will check every permissions including the TCP. If anything found illegal, the work will be immediately shut down. Anti Pramane has done complaint. A complaint is a J. Inspection is a lot of things. So, inspection report is a lot of things. And complaints are a lot of things. We are likely to issue stop order for illegal activities. Going on there. Illegal activities are a lot of things. प्लेन गिला तो ये तक कांट्रेट ना तो इलीगल ना ताकि बाहर गिला तो इलीगल रमेश नायक रात फॉर गोत्र 65 फ्रॉम कुंकोलिम the country reported 38,164 new COVID-19 cases and 499 deaths in the last 24 hours, according to the Union Health Ministry. This comes after the country reported 41,157 COVID-19 cases and 518 deaths on Sunday. 
With this, the total number of cases in the country reached 3.11 crores, while the death toll surged to 4,14,108. Goa saw nil deaths and 99 new cases. Delta variant of COVID-19 currently accounts for over 80% of new COVID-19 cases in India and cases may go up if a new or more infectious variant comes. Dr. N.K. Arora, co-chairperson of Indian SARS-CoV-2 Genomics Consortium said. It was first identified in October 2020 in India and was primarily responsible for the country's second wave. He added, Delta Plus variant has so far been detected in 55 to 60 cases across 11 states including Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Madhya Pradesh. It is also found in countries like Nepal, Portugal, Switzerland, Poland, Japan. The variant is still being studied for its transmissibility, virulence and vaccines escapes characteristics, Dr. N. K. Arora said. India's active caseload stands at 4,21,665 and active cases now constitute 1.35% of the country's total positive cases. Weekly positivity rate is currently at 2.8 percent while the daily positivity rate stands at 2.61 percent. Daily positivity rate has remained less than 3 percent for 28 consecutive days and has remained below 5 percent for 42 consecutive days now. Bureau report go at 365. We will take a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back. And now for the weather, heavy rainfall at isolated places with moderate rainfall at most places occurred over Goa. Heavy to very heavy rainfall will occur at many places with extremely heavy rainfall very likely at isolated places on 19th to the 23rd of July. This will be accompanied by winds of speeds of 45 to 55 kilometers per hour gusting to 65 kilometers per hour. गेले काय दिसा साकून जो सतत पाऊस पडता त्या पावसान गावणगिरे आणि खोतिगाव वाठारातले रस्ते पुरायपणान आता पाणथळ जावपाक लागल्यात अनेक फावटी जेव्हा पाऊस पडता त्यांना ह्या रस्त्यान वयता त्यांना रस्तो गा न्हय अशा तरेचे स्वरूप हंगासर दिसती पडता याच्या फाटले कारण इतलेच की प्रशासन आणि जबाबदारी मनीस आशिल्ले ह्या रस्त्याकडे अजिबात लक्ष देना फोरकास्ट नॉर्थ गोवा Moderate to heavy rainfall very likely at most places on 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd and 23rd of July. South Goa. Moderate to heavy rainfall very likely at most places on 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd and 23rd of July. Winds of speed 45 to 55 km per hour gusting to 65 km per hour very likely on 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd and 23rd of July. Maximum minimum temperatures likely to be around 26 degrees to 23 degrees centigrades. Fisherman warning, up to 75 kilometers from the coast, squally weather with wind speed reaching 45 to 55 kilometers per hour, gusting to 65 kilometers per hour, likely to prevail along and off North Maharashtra coast from 19 to the 23rd July 2021. Fishermen are advised not to venture out. Beyond 75 kilometers from the coast, strong winds with wind speed reaching 45 to 55 kilometers per hour, gusting to 65 kilometers per hour, likely to prevail over southwest, west central, and adjoining east central Arabian Sea from 19th to 23rd July. High wave warning. High waves in the range of 2.5 to 3.8 meters are predicted during the 17.30 hours on 18th July 2021 to 11.30 hours of 20th July 2021 along the coast from Malvan to Vasai of Maharashtra coast. High waves in the range of 2.5 to 3.6 meters are forecasted during 17.30 hours on 18th July 2021 to 11.30 hours of 20 July 2021 along the coast of Goa between Bengurla to Vasco. High waves in the range of 2.5 to 3.8 meters are predicted during the 5.30 hours on 18 July 2021 to 11.30 hour of 20 July 2021 along the coast from Marwan to Vasai of Maharashtra coast. Port Warning 
Squally weather with wind speed reaching 45 to 55 km per hour, gusting to 65 km per hour, likely to prevail along and off Maharashtra Goa coast. Goa 365 Bureau with inputs from IMD. With that, we've come to the end of this news bulletin. For more news and updates, log on to our website www.goa365.tv. Follow us on Facebook Goa 365 TV and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Goa 365 TV or download our app which is available on both Android and iPhones to watch it. All the latest news and updates on your mobile. Take care. Stay safe and keep watching Goa 365.